At the same time, there was a building called 58 Charles Street. And I sort of thought this is quite interesting because it was running a, an alternative advice service. And this was started by somebody called Tony Corlett. And she had been involved in something called BIT in London and then moved down to Cardiff and set up the Rights and Information Bureau. And then one of the first things she did, apart from running the advice service, was to sort of run a food kitchen which was open at lunchtime. And as office workers from the planning department, we went down there to have our lunch. Then, I, I don't quite know what happened, uh, but she then, there was some sort of, I don't know what happened, but she left. And there I was, I just noticed that there was this service that was being operated that was very valuable. And it could end up being uh, lost completely. So I don't know, I just took it on myself to I said, well, we must rescue all the files and all the information that is here. And we thought, well, this is such a valuable amount of information, but we try and keep the organisation going. But it had a bad name, RIB, because it was hippie and alternative, and people were worried about it. So we thought, well, we'll set up a new organisation. So we looked at the initials of Cardiff City Council, CCC, played around with it, and came up with another CCC, Cardiff Community Concern. Uh, we had lots of people just come in off the street or just phone up with their problems. In particular, there was a problem with homeless young people. So we set up a system of crash pads, so if they needed somebody's home to stay in overnight and they could do that. And we then decided that a lot more, there was a particular problem with 16 to 17 year olds. And this was going back to 1973, 74. Unfortunately that problem has not gone away, it's actually got worse. But we decided to set up um, something called Cardiff Flat Shop and we applied for urban programme funding from the government and I think the City Council must have supported that and we had a committee a bit later on um, with people from social services and probation the uh, Cardiff flat shop I think was eventually taken over by Cardiff Council Cardiff Community Concern became City Centre Youth Project, which I think is still the name.